I'm Max. I am the program director here at One Iowa, and I use he and they pronouns. And uh, I am so excited to announce this year's Courageous Six Award. Uh, I have a connection to this award myself because the uh, award was named after the original plaintiffs of the Varnum case. And if you're not familiar, that case is the case that got us uh, marriage equality here in the state of Iowa. It's part of the reason that One Iowa exists to begin with. And actually, at the time that we received uh, a same-sex marriage here in the state, I was actually a high schooler organizing and volunteering with One Iowa on the weekends and in the afternoon. And of course, at the time, I didn't know that I was LGBTQ. I just thought LGBTQ people were neat. So I decided to volunteer for this uh, civil and human rights issue. Um, but I remember very vividly the day that we received marriage equality here in the state of Iowa. It was a tremendous day and there was a celebration down uh, in downtown Des Moines and it was just so incredibly joyful. And so uh, I always, with this specific award, uh, I think of it as such a joyful and such an incredible award and honor. And uh, this year we're so excited to honor Chris Godfrey as the recipient of the LGBTQ Courageous Six uh, Award. Thank you, One Iowa, for the 2020 Courageous Six Award. I want to thank One Iowa for the work they do each and every day to make Iowa a better place for all of us to live and work. I'm very honored to receive this award. Looking back at the past recipients and knowing the people for whom it's named, uh, it's a great honor to have been selected this year. An award for courage. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people that stand behind you if you're courageous. Um, for me, that would be my family and my friends, uh, for everyone who stood behind me and helped me uh, win this legal battle, uh, I am very, very grateful. We've obviously gotten to the legal verdict in my case from our jury, uh, but we still uh, continue the fight going forward to the Iowa Supreme Court, which will review uh, the jury's verdict. Um, for those of you who may not know, the state of Iowa continues to spew bigoted comments and arguments into the record of my case. For those of you who have not uh, witnessed those, I urge you to, to look at them, read them, find out what your tax do dollars are paying for uh, in the record of my case. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. Uh, but in some ways, it's also not surprising. It simply shows that our work is not done, that our fight for true equality persists, and that simply makes one Iowa more relevant than ever. So thank you, One Iowa, again, for the award. Uh, thank you for the work that you do and to continue to fight for justice and equality. And on a more personal note, for those of you who are being bullied, either in your workplace, at your school, wherever it may be, please stand up to bullies and know that other people do have your back. It's so very important not to let the acts of those types of people stand and not go unchallenged.